Hello everyone, myself Ahmed Kaif, a second year chemistry honors student at Kirorimal College, University of Delhi. In this video, we will be having an insight into an experiment that is to prepare S-benzyl isothiouronium salt of succinic acid which is a water soluble carboxylic acid. This S-benzyl isothiouronium is abbreviated as SBT. These are the crystals of SBT. You all must be wondering what is this SBT derivative. Well, in organic chemistry, there is a functional group named isothiouronium with the formula RSC NH2 2 positive as you can see on the screen where R can be alkyl or aryl. When this R is replaced by benzyl, it becomes S-benzyl isothiouronium derivative which is also known as SBT derivative. It is quite unstable in its free state that is why it is found as a stabilized salt. Now the question arises why do we need SBT derivative? So we need it to identify mono and dicarboxylic acids and also other acids like sulfonic acids and why it is able to identify them due to its crystalline nature. Here is the structure of SBT chloride. Now we will see how this SBT chloride can be synthesized. When thiourea reacts with benzyl chloride in an ethanolic solution, we get S-benzyl isothiouronium chloride. Here is the reaction. In this experiment, we are dealing with SBT chloride and succinic acid. We have had a glimpse of SBT chloride, now we will see succinic acid. Well, Succinic acid is an alpha omega dicarboxylic acid resulting from the formal oxidation of each of the terminal methyl groups of butane to the corresponding carboxy group. It is an intermediate metabolite in the citric acid cycle. It has a role as a nutraceutical, a radiation protective agent, an anti-ulcer drug, a micronutrient and a fundamental metabolite. Here is its structure. Now we will jump into the main reaction that is preparing SBT derivative of succinic acid. First of all, we should know that SBT chloride reacts with sodium salt of carboxylic acid, not just free carboxylic acid. So, the sodium salt of succinic acid in aqueous solution is reacted with SBT chloride. As a result, we get S-benzyl isothiouronium succinic acid salt. Here is the mechanism. The materials which will be needed to perform this experiment are succinic acid 0.5 gram, SBT chloride 1 gram, 10% aqueous NaOH solution, dilute HCl, phenolphthalein as an indicator. In acidic and neutral media, phenolphthalein is colorless and in alkaline medium, it is pink. This is the procedure which we will be following to perform this experiment. First, dissolve 0.5 gram of succinic acid in around 10 ml of distilled water. Second, 10% aqueous sodium hydroxide solution was added to it until the solution is just alkaline to phenolphthalein. Then, a drop of dilute HCl was added to neutralize the excess NOH. Now the question arises, why neutralization is carried out after adding NOH? This is because excess of OH- ions can replace Cl- of SBT instead of carboxylate ion. Then this solution was poured into a solution of already prepared S-benzyl isothiouronium chloride salt 1 gram in 10 ml of water. The mixture was cooled under ice bath with continuous stirring. The separated product was filtered off using suction filtration setup. It was dried under hot air oven and finally yield and melting point were reported. These are the reactions involved in this experiment. First step is to make sodium salt of succinic acid. Succinic acid is reacted with NaOH solution to give sodium salt of succinic acid. Second step is to react the SBT chloride with sodium salt of succinic acid. Now we are done with aim, materials required, theory and procedural part. Now comes the result. The yield of crude SBT derivative of succinic acid was calculated. 
the melting point of final product SBT derivative of succinic acid is compared with the literature melting point value to evaluate if the given carboxylic acid is mono or di. This is the gist of this experiment. As I told you, one of the major uses of SBT derivative is to identify mono and di carboxylic acid. So we evaluate that succinic acid is a di carboxylic acid. Now we'll revisit some important points from this experiment. SBT stands for S benzyl isothiouronium, quite a fascinating name. It is unstable in its free state, that is why it is found as a salt, like SBT chloride, stabilized salt. SBT derivative reacts with sodium salt of carboxylic acid, not just carboxylic acid in free state. This chloride salt is widely used to identify mono and dicarboxylic acids and also other acids like sulfonic acids etc. Certain acids, amino acids and some polybasic acids do not give formation of satisfactory SBT derivative due to the presence of lone pair and sterical factors. Now I would like to end this video with these beautiful words. Knowing without seeing is at the heart of chemistry. Thank you everyone. Have a nice day.